thought about my own spiritual journey. Growing up in a household that wasn't particularly religious. Finding Christ when I wasn't even looking for him so many years ago. It is unthinkable now for a candidate to be running for the presidency without making some sort of declaration about his or her religious faith or convictions. To vote religion in blocks and to believe that because a person is a certain faith, it's going to save us as a country. It's patently absurd and I believe un-American. The idea that we're going to make these judgments on the basis of the, the faith and the testimony of people running for office just flies in the face of everything that distinguishes this country from every other country that even is moving in the direction of a theocratic uh, state. We need to judge people, there's even a Bible verse about this, by the fruits, not by what they say. Every four years, the country works itself into a tizzy about which presidential candidate is more religious than thou. While it's true religion has played a higher profile role in national politics in the past 40 years, it's decidedly not true that religion's presence in presidential campaign politics is something new, much less nefarious. Perhaps the confusion goes back to the beginning. The Founding Fathers gave us a gift, no religious test for political office. This constitutional boundary means any native-born American citizen 35 years or older who's been resident for 14 years may run for president without being required to espouse any given religion or, for that matter, any religion at all. This is the vaunted separation of church and state that distanced America from its European heritage. This wisdom has helped keep our country free of religious warfare for over 200 years. This no religious test helped protect the state from being controlled by the church and along with the First Amendment, helped protect the church from the state. Constitutionally, we can elect a Protestant, a Catholic, a Jew, a Muslim, any American affirming any religious preference or even an agnostic or an atheist. To date, we've never knowingly elected an irreligious president. Every president since Washington has affirmed some allegiance to a church. No religious test for political office is a wonderful heritage. If you want to be patriotic, here indeed is something to be patriotic about. In 1787, this idea was a glorious new invention. Since then, it's played an incredibly important role in what's been called the American experiment. No religious test is about liberty. A presidential candidate enjoys freedom of worship. Citizens enjoy freedom to vote or not to vote him or her into high office. Thank you.